Welcome to Treasure Hunting Adventures with John M. Bradman. Today we're going to test out the Quest X5 new multi-tector that's come out to see how it performs and to give you an idea of how it works. The Quest X5 can be used for starter detectorists or all levels of people. It has a quick speed recovery and a great depth and very light. Right, here we are with the Quest X5 test run. We are now going to go through the settings. It's all fitted together and um, it, it has a light at the bottom there that you, which can shine directly onto the search head. That button there, turn it on and off. So let's switch it on. It's four buttons. Pinpoint there. Let's turn it on. Off it goes on. And sensitivity bar up here, which goes up to the top in numbers. That's a high. Back it off if it's too noisy. And we have then the depth of target there on the right hand side and we have uh, three modes we've got the ring gold ring jewelry mode am for all metal and coin mode we're set at the coin mode at the moment which is that's uh, am all metal mode coin and you can move it back to jewelry so that's how you move to your different modes so we're now going to give it a try and see and see how sensitive the machine is. The speed recovery is automatic, set at a certain pace. I have put it on high sensitivity and it seems to be reasonably stable. Um, so let's just see how we go with it. So here we are with the target. It's going from 80, 73 to 85. Not quite sure what this is. Let's find it. Let's pinpoint it. Pinpoint it. I think that scratchy noise, I don't think that's a good target, but let's just see. That is a piece of that's why we're making that racket, so it's a, a washer, but iron washer. Not what we want, really. Right, what I find out about the machine is that with the different tones, I'm finding the higher tones are quite decent targets where the mid tones, yeah, are reasonable, low end stuff, but then obviously it goes down to a, a deep tone and that generally seems to be rubbish, so we'll see. Oh, now then. Don't know what that is, but don't that don't sound too bad, let's Pinpoint it. There we go. Right. Sounds like a good signal, this. Uh, this is a reflector off a tractor. You can just see that. So we give such a good turn. Well, that is a, a tube, and that's at 70, number 70. Hmm. So we've got 80 here. That sounds like a coin, it's a good, it's a good 881. Yeah, that's, that sounds good, that sounds like a coin, that. Let's have a look. Well, I've got it out anyway, it's, it's there. It's just about there. Oh no. Hmm. What was it then? A big piece of crud. Look at that. Well, fairly deep on this. Look at that. 160 pound machine. Can't go wrong. It's quite deep, isn't it? I don't know what it is. Let's see. We got it out. Piece of lead. Big piece of lead. That. Look at that. Seventeenth-century button. 
That's foil, that noise. 68, 70, nice signal. I think we'll dig that. So, on low to like 60, that's a ring pull. We should normally would dig, but it's a ring pull. So, we'll, obviously, I think we've got to dig 60s up for, with this machine. Um, iron, big piece of iron. That's saying it's a big target. And that's 68, but still making a gl glitchy type noise. So, we've got a copper pipe, 91. Copper pipe. One copper pipe. 91. Oh, good. So here we are with a penny. Which gives 78 to about 80, generally. Uh, there we go. Georgia 5th. Round about probably 1928, I'd say, to be precise. And the depth were at least 10 inches, which is quite good for this X5. Quest X5, not bad at all, really. Down this uh, hole here. Pretty good. 